Okay, stage two. After two coats of the first uh, shellac and alcohol only, using cheesecloth only, um, I did that yesterday. Um, now I'm ready to do the second stage um, of bodying, which is um, to use just the tiniest drop of oil added. And another difference is instead of just the cheesecloth, um, I use the cheesecloth wrapped in a piece of t-shirt. And uh, so what you do is, I don't want to do it on top of the guitar, um, take the t-shirt and just put the pad lay it inside the t-shirt and then draw the t-shirt up and you still want to maintain that kind of pointy um, shape of the pad underneath and there you go and you still have the same kind of control but now you have a smooth surface uh, if you used the cheesecloth only if you continue doing that it has a tendency then to start leaving lint or uh, little pieces of cheesecloth in the finish, which you don't want. Um, and so that's what I'll be using. Um, same basic process except for adding a little drop of olive oil. Um, I also have over here, I don't know if you can see it on this green uh, piece of tag board, I have some pumice which occasionally I'll put on the pad uh, and it just helps to continue to fill pores. Um, and so I'll do that right now as far as I'll put a little pumice. I don't do it every time. Um, but what I'm going to do is put some shellac onto the uh, pad and then just take a little just a little dab of pumice and Put it on the shellac and you want to rub it onto the shellac to make sure that the shellac clears the pumice so it won't turn white in the pores and I even put a little bit more shellac on there okay and then I put alcohol again and then what I do is I put a drop of uh, olive oil on my finger on my right finger and then I just take a little dab and if that's too much I can blot it but you just, you just want the various very smallest amount of oil that just helps the pad to glide you don't want too much and just kind of spread it onto the pad and then I've done uh, about this much of it so far actually this morning Okay, and then what you do is kind of the same motions, actually, but now you're uh, using the different pad and as well you're using a little bit of olive oil. And so you go up and pull, paint and pull, paint and pull down. That kind of smooths out the swirls a little, but you don't really stressed about making a super smooth surface at this point because you're going to be doing a level sanding later anyway okay so same thing I'm not going to put pumice on there at the moment and sometimes I don't put the olive oil on because there's still enough residue of the olive oil on the pad the the less olive oil you can get away with the better the less uh, oil on the surface the better it's just to help the pad to glide smoothly as you're doing the body and coats and you're pressing kind of down because that also is helping to fill any pores that either shrink 
the finished shrink inside the pores or they didn't get filled the first time totally. Like I have some pores right there that um, I'll have to work on later. So some shellac, some alcohol, I don't think I'll, well maybe I'll do a little dot of, because it was starting to feel like it was sticking, dot of olive oil. And then blot it, pat it on my hand, same process. And I'll do this section down here. So I go up and down, up and pull down, up and pull down. if you can tell from the video but it's really looking pretty it's not you know that glossy French polish shine yet but but the contrast between the rosewood and the darker pores and the stripes is coming out I don't know if you can see that but it's really pretty wood Okay, I'll just do one more little section. And I'll put a little bit of olive oil on the pad. Once again, blot it, hit it on my hand, and I'll do this section up here. want to totally stop on this surface. Just keep it moving. It's starting to feel like it's sticking a little bit. So when that happens, moving a little bit faster helps. But also later I'll add some olive oil on the next section. You might be able to hear kind of how it's a little bit abrasive with that pumice that's still on. Little pumice goes a long way. Okay, so I have that section done. And once again, whenever I can, after the pad is dry, I'll hit the edges. Okay, so that's what I'll be doing today. I'll be doing at least a couple of coats of this with the additional drop of olive oil once in a while and the cheesecloth wrapped inside the t-shirt. Um, okay, so catch you later for the next step, which might be tomorrow. Oh no, or Sunday. <laughs>